Hello, good afternoon, morning, evening, whenever you're watching. It's uh, six, coming up on six o'clock, so we'll call it evening. We'll call it evening. Um, yeah, PJ day again, because yesterday I had work. Today I did not have work. I have spoken to my agency and said, hey, I can work. I haven't had anything back yet, but um, I'm always on standby. I'm always on standby. Um, haven't looked at the job market today. Um, but last time I did it was all like, high skilled job, driver's license, driver's license, high skilled. I'm like, okay, fair enough for those people who have those skills or have a driver's license. I don't have either. But anyway, that's, that's not what it's about. We had, yesterday we had um, the three videos with the unboxings and the, and the vlog today. We just got a vlog. So I, but I, I've done some laundry today. Done laundry. So I have been productive. And I'm going to go get a shower once I've done this. So, you know, there's that. Get all nice and, you know, spiffied up. And we'll try some reading. Um, I was going to work on my 3D printer today. Um, I found someone that's got, like, a, a different firmware that's supposed to fix the error that I'm having. But because I'm still kind of half asleep. Because um, I did get a lot of sleep over the weekend, early start yesterday. I did get a lay-in today. That was nice. But, um, yeah, basically, yeah. Um, I, I still don't feel fully aware enough to, you know, poking around software and sort of going, how does this work? So, I probably could, but then I'll be like, oh, am I doing that right? So, um, I want to be a bit more awake for that. So tomorrow, if I'm not working tomorrow, I will definitely do more work on the 3D printer. Anyway, that's not what you're here for. You're here for this. This. The book with the questions and the questions that I answer. And you know, as I've, I've never seen any of them, like, except for the first few pages, if you've watched the first videos. And hey, we're in a new month! First of May, so new month, new playlist. Which is awesome. Because when I started this, I was just having 365 days as a playlist. And I'm like, that's going to be a long playlist. 365, 10 to 15 minute videos. That's going to be a hell of a playlist. And I know some people do do that with like certain whatevers. Um, maybe not 365 videos, but lengthwise they could end up, end up adding up to the same amount. I mean, I know the, um, the Dom's Harry Potter review is about, I think it's pushing 5 hours, 10 hours? I haven't looked at it in a while, but that's a long, that's a long playlist. Um, it's a good playlist. Um, some of Aaron's shows on his singular playlist I mean he's stopping at... 50, 52, something. So he could go into syndication. <laughs> and some of those, I mean, the shortest is like five minutes, I think. And the longest is about 40. So you you add all that up. It's just as long as my vlogs. But yeah, I decided I would go month by month. It'll be easier for me to find stuff as well because I don't always watch them, but I know roughly what I've talked about when. So um, it's easy. I think, you know, bite sized playlists. You know, you go through the year. It's all good. But anyway, this is today. This is today. This, that's just a thing. But new playlists is always fun. I guess that's just a reminder for myself to start a new playlist. Anyway, stop rambling and answer the question. <sighs> oh, okay. Nice easy one. Nice easy one. List your top three celebrity crushes What you and what you like the most about them. Yeah. This is the fun one. Um, well, I guess top and obvious um, is uh, my boy David. Um, and yeah, this yeah, it's the one with the swear. I haven't finished reading this yet. I started uh, reading it um, when I first got it. Um, I found the bookmark. I'm, I'm that far into it, and it's like the beginning bits is like really short chapters. And it's supposed to get more in depth um, later on, like longer chapters. And I am enjoying it. Um, I know, some of the reviews have actually said, you know, the um, the first bits are kind of like, you know, a lot of set up stuff, and it's like, you know, very short chapters. I mean, like literally short chapters. I think one of them's like two pages. Um, that's three. Yeah, that's three. That was slightly longer. And it's not that I'm not enjoying it. I have been, it's just... 
I think I started reading this when I was working at the warehouse at the, at the box place and I was sort of reading it in the um, break room which is fine because it was always nice and quiet in there but I, I kind of would drift off a little bit so I was like oh okay I'll keep drifting off and when I get home I don't I do other things and not read um but yeah so I want to finish this because Miss Subways is officially out in um stateside I think was officially we're supposed to get it in June because that's what the um release date is on the website so I've been looking at like I've got I've been looking on Amazon um book depository cut other places and um even Amazon is listing it for June so it must be the American the, the British version um but yes but can we talk about can we talk about my bait my yeah my bay dd um actor author poet um director has produced in his time but not as well known as produ for producing uh singer songwriter because you know that's the thing he does now father ex-husband but you know it happens the man's got talent i mean what can you say and he's and seriously i mean this the picture in here isn't actually very up to date because it's quite an old one but looking at that i was just watching him on stephen um stephen colbert dude's 57. tell me you'd look at that dude if you didn't know who he was and say oh that dude's in his 50s so yeah you know, whether or not you enjoy his writing his acting his singing his you know anything he's done that's up to you you know i'm not saying you have to like him because i like him but you can't deny the man's trying stuff you can't deny that he's you know isn't pushing the boundaries you can't deny that he isn't at least taking risks and as i said before in my um name someone you really admire video way back when um i would find a link for it but it's you can't actually fault that you can't fault someone who is at least willing to try i've always said that you know you, as long as you, you try it's okay if you don't like it's okay if it doesn't suit you but at least try and uh, i suppose if himself's watching well, you don't try and do this you don't do that at all i did I, I went to portsmouth and it was raining and i was like okay they're boats and that's kind of cool and i don't mind going to some museums but apparently naval history isn't my thing going around and looking at things and walking around just because for the sake of it isn't my thing you know if i go somewhere it's because i want to go there so there you go um but <coughs> other crushes well i think my oldest celebrity crush is michael j fox um that i don't want to say it's waned um he's obviously had a lot going on in his life but i haven't been as consistent keeping up with his career i mean i still do you know enjoy his work and i've been meaning to watch um person of interest <clears throat> excuse me i wanted to watch person of interest when i first heard about it because i thought well that sounds like an interesting show and then of course now recently michael's got a um an arc in it so that's cool so i definitely want to check that out but i haven't really sort of kept up as up to date but i still uh, you know when i watch him i'm like yeah this is why i like this guy this guy's cool this is that's great you know obviously with everything he's going on in his personal life with the parkinson's and his works towards helping find a cure and helping other people would be you know, using his privilege to help you know, learn more about this um this horrible disease this disorder um you know this condition you know you gotta give that props major major props um but i would say david is probably the one on more consistently um fan the shelf because um i probably even though like family size back to the future all that was mid 80s i didn't really kind of get into him as an actor for my own sake until the early 90s you know late 80s early 90s and then of the x files was no no it would have been a bit earlier than that but yeah late late 80s also we'll late 80s um by the time back to the future 3 came out and um, the hard way and stuff like that and then obviously X Files started in night yeah ninety three if I started ninety three friends started ninety four so um so from ninety three four David's kind of been the top of my radar top of my list 
so there's that and then I like beet crumbs I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big crumb of bitch um, the man's just the man's very sexy um, they're all sexy in their own ways well Michael I would say is more cute but I know it's, it's very probably rude to call, to call the short guy cute but he can't help it he's got a cute face um yeah benedict again because he's like he's, they're all good souls um you know wanting to do the charity stuff or the ch yeah they've all got the children um and that voice oh man betty boy's got of, of the three of them and like i said david's got a great voice michael's you know obviously got a very pleasant speaking voice as well but oh boy benny's voice is sex on legs it is it's just like uh what was the um Oh yeah, someone described it, it sounded like a Jaguar on a cello. That sort of deep purr, purr. I, I think I mentioned before that I used to sort of, if I had trouble sleeping, I, there's certain playlists I've got on my phone that I'd listen to. One of them is Benedict reading poetry. You could just get so mellowed out on that. I don't think I've ever really properly heard the last poem on, on my playlist. Um, it's just, oh, it's nice. Um, so... I've had other various crushes over time, sort of in and out. I like Matthew Perry, um, Peter Davison, Brent Spiner, to different degrees. I mean, obviously, Peter and, and Brent are like way sort of much older. Um, like, Peter's like only a few months older than my dad, which I never really worked that out until sort of more recently. So that's kind of, hmm. Um, Brent's not as old, but still older. Um, and, you know, uh, Michael Shanks, who I, who I enjoy as an actor um, and is a nice guy met with a couple of times, Chris Eccleston, you know, lots of different sort of people like that. But honestly, if we're talking about my top, Michael's like my, you know, Michael J. Fox is probably my old, oldest, longest crush. David uh, Duchovny is probably my most consistent crush and uh, Benedict Cumberbatch will be my most recent, you know, Pash. Um, and then the other, other people in and out of that that I like and enjoy. Um, because they're all, they're all unique, wonderful people of varying degrees of subjective, for sure, sexy sexiness. But you know, you like who you like. But they're all they're all uniquely talented. They've all got their own strengths and weaknesses. Um, and I don't think I've seen a. I guess I don't, don't think I've seen a bad performance between any of them. Some of David's earlier work is a little bit, I wouldn't say cringeworthy, but. The dude had no real formal acting um, lessons outside of a few classes before he sort of decided to become an actor. Um, he did sort of say he sort of would you know attend certain drama groups to help with his playwriting, but yeah, if you're gonna, you know, there are some very early, very oh bless him. But even then, they're still enjoyable. You know, it's just it's still there's an earnesty to them, um, which I think comes out in his music as well. So. You know, and again with Michael, he's been doing it since he was a kid. Um, Benedict, probably like school plays and stuff, obviously, but um, on screen. Uh, again, Benedict's only been since he's been an adult, so. But yeah, there, there's not. You can probably point to a couple of bad films or things that were really, like, like um, Midnight Madness, or I actually can't think of an example of them, but like some of David's earliest work, like Julie Has Two Lovers. I like Julie Has Two Lovers, but. Yeah, I can also admit it's it's, it's cheesy, um, but yeah. So subjectively, yes, and not all brilliant projects, but acting-wise, I think they all bring it. There's not terrible performances amongst any of them. So anyway, that's my ramble about my um, celebrity crushes. Oh, and um, Eddie Izzard. I I really really like Eddie Izzard because um, he's funny and talented. Again, comedian, actor, kind of sexy. You don't care. I don't care if you don't like him. Do sexy. Um, I mean, literally, he he did a talk called sexy. You can't argue with that. Um, again, um, this is a great example. Again, with the charity and, and the um, advocacy and just putting himself out there and, and doing it because he wants to do it and challenging himself. That's that's admirable. And talented. He plays the piano. Um. Okay, just just chilling there and like working on his stuff, but 
dude, dude's got talent, dude's got presence, and there's... Honestly, his acting career is as long as his com um, comedic career. So, look it up. Alright, that's definitely rambling now. Follow me here under the Twitters. Um, you can like, share, subscribe, that would be really awesome. And we've gone past the 15 minute mark, so thank you for watching. If you're, here this, if you're listening to this part, then you are the awesome people. I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you tomorrow.